Hey guys, Retro Gaming Maniac here with another episode of the Retro Code Podcast here with Radical Reggie. How's it going, everybody? This is episode five, I think. Yeah, five, six. We'll we'll figure it out later. <laughs> yeah, episode five, and we're gonna we're gonna try to do these what well, at least one a week, I'm guessing, right? Yeah, one a week, maybe two a week, depending, you know. Yeah, they're gonna vary in uh, time. So like our last one was like thirty minutes, and I think the twenty minutes, I think, and the one before that was like an hour. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this week. one, this one, this one's feeling like more of a, like an hour one so far, but we'll see. It depends yeah. on how we it feel. It depends on like if we run out of stuff to talk about. So. Yeah, yeah. But. So. Oh, go ahead, bro. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, but yeah. Um, so the podcast has been doing good. Uh, people yep. seem to enjoy it. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, it's awesome. Like the way we do this podcast, we just kind of talk about whatever we want. We don't really talk about what's going on currently or try to set like a list. Of, uh, things yeah, yeah, we, we pretty much, about. we we pretty much, pretty much, I would say, wing it. You yeah. know, we did come up with a couple of topics that we want to talk about today, and I'll go ahead and start off. Yeah, um, man, let's start so it. We had a couple of pickups uh, recently, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, it's weird because I'm having a pickups video with Jason come out this <laughs> Friday, which is pretty hilarious. But uh, I got some more stuff, and uh, I just want to kind of show it off briefly. All right, uh, I got Marvel. Uh, Superheroes uh, versus Street Fighter, oh, which is nice. the only game I was missing out of that uh, saga. I have, you know, so I have I that game, this. but I don't have the I mean, case for it. it well, it's it's a cool game, bro. It's just that you have to you have to play it like one on one instead of like with the, uh, you know, instead of like the tag team. You can do tag team mode, but it has to be the same characters. Yeah, like so that's the only way. But I've learned to like it just for like one on one battles because I love that stuff. That's oh, so yeah. cool to me. You can still use assist characters, but still. Still a very playable game, but you know, people complain because it's not arcade perfect. You know, and I, and I understand. Yeah, uh, I got I'm not. Mickey I'm not too Mania. picky with my fighting games, so. Yeah, Mickey Mania, which I haven't even played yet. I have that one on, I think Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. If it's the one I'm thinking oh. of. Oh. Oh really? Nice. They said the Sega CD one is the uh, has extra levels or something like that. And this was made by Sony or published by Sony at least. Yeah. So Sony was making games, dude. This is pretty. This is pretty awesome. Is this the one with the first level being like the Steamboat Willie level? Yeah. Yeah, I love that yep. Mickey game. That's my favorite Mickey Mouse. Oh, is game. it? Okay, yeah. cool. All right, man. I'm excited to play it. Uh, a game was sent to me to do a review on. Uh, Sturmwind. Dreamcast. Uh, I think that's a, yeah, for Dreamcast, I hear a lot of good things about this game. Uh, I can't wait to review it. I played the first two levels and I was blown away. Uh, lots of action. Music is good too, man. I was like, "Whoa, man, it's easy on the ears." Like this is music I can play in the car, you know. And that's so, a that's a new Dreamcast game that just came out, right? No, it's been out for like two years, but it was very okay. limited. You know, like they just re- reprinted it, so I got the reprint, which I'm happy with. So. Oh, cool, awesome. And then I got a. Uh, oh, let me set these games down as I. Siberia Three, a game I've been waiting for for like 13 Siberia years. Siberia Three, what is that? Uh, it's a point and click game about a, ga- a lady named Kate Walker. Mm-hmm. She is a lawyer. And she's going to uh, Europe to uh, not Europe, but I forgot where exactly where she's going. But she's going to this place overseas to uh, the, to to get the deed for a toy factory to, to pretty much buy it. Yeah. But the lady that she's buying it from actually passes away. So when you get there, her funeral is happening, and you find out that her brother is still alive. You have to, and he automatically owns the business, so you have to get permission from the brother to get the business, and then you get to search for him and. You go on this adventure, man. It's, it's pretty intense, man. It's pretty awesome, dude. But it's kind of sad because during the adventure, you know, Kate is uh, she she has a fiance. Mm-hmm. But during her adventure, you know, our fiance cheats on her with her best friend, and you know, it's like, man, you know, it's like, oh, wow, yeah, it's pretty messed up, dude. So <laughs> the story is re- is really deep. But the third game, man, this one is, oh man. Now is that an import? No, no, it came out in America. Yeah, it's got the... Uh, oh, did I, oh, oh there, we, <laughs> there it is. There we go, everybody. See okay, that? cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, the limited edition came out, collector's edition came out in Europe, unfortunately. I really wanted that because it had some good stuff. Yeah. Because when I opened this game up, bro, guess what? You guessed it. No manual. Nothing at all. They did. They went the cheap round. They put the manual on the same... on the sleeve of the game, essentially. like the. And they almost tried to charge a full price for this game. I think this game was... Uh, Forty nine ninety nine with no manual. Come 30, on, thirty dollars tops. Yeah, they broke my heart with that, but it's an awesome game, dude. I mean, uh, you actually, if you wanted to start it, you could start from the third game because it gives you a re- you get a recap of the first two games. Yeah. So you know, but yeah, dude, it's pretty sick. So you got anything for us, bro? 
I actually do. I have I actually have a few things that I got sent to me by a really good friend of mine named Reggie. Kind of looks like you. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's pretty radical though. But I got now. Is it how do you pronounce that? Is it Anima? An I call it Anima. Anima Game of Memories yeah. or Gate of Memories. Of memories. Yeah, yeah, and it's a very artistic game. It's got good music. And uh, yeah. actually, this one comes with a soundtrack. And, of course, you there know you that because you sent it to me. But for the people watching, <laughs> it's a very good game. It's got great music. It plays like God of War. Um, yeah. Only difference is you do have some, ra <clears throat> some range attacks that you can do. But the, yeah, which are... So far, I'm really enjoying it. Between characters, too. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, and I haven't got a chance to listen to the soundtrack yet, so I'm going to check it out. Oh, you'll like it, dude. It's, it's pretty awesome. But that game is like, man. See, what happened with it, I bought that copy that you had, right? Because mm -hmm. I didn't think it was going to come to America. And the next thing you know, NIS America said, hey, let's port this game over. I'm like, <laughs> man, what the heck? They decided. So I, I got that edition instead. So yep. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's a good game, man. I really enjoy that one. And I have a DS game that you sent me called Windy Windham. Just like a 2D fighting game. Yeah, 2D fighting game, like Street Fighter. That game is going to be like, uh, I have a feeling it's going to be a hidden gem because, of like, you know, it's going to be rare in the future because it's not, uh, it was only sold online. Yeah. So it's been sold in the stores. So people, you know what I mean? Like, they, they'll, yeah, it's, I think it's going to be tough to find. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like a, like an anime, a 2D anime fighting game. Almost like a yeah, yeah. Blaze Blue or something like that. Yeah, to fly around. Which yeah, is cool, like up in the air. Yeah, I like it when game, when they take advantage of the screen like that. Um, I got a five dollar game at a store called Five Below, and I got a Battleborn. You bought that? We I told bought you it. Not to. I got it, <laughs> but it was like five bucks, and it's an online game made by the people that made Borderlands. And I heard it's yeah. it's decent. It's just it didn't do as well because it came out the same time as Overwatch, and Overwatch kind of wiped the floor with it. So. That five bucks you could have used for like gas or to get a burger. <laughs> See, these I got for a dollar. Some PC games, Battlefield Vietnam. Nice. Because I do enjoy my PC games. Mhm. Mm now this is the Black Hawk Down Platinum Edition. Comes with the uh, the first game and the second game called Team Saber. Okay. So and oh. I actually I had these on PS2. And uh, I think I have the PS2 as well. Those yeah, those games. they're okay. good games, and they both have co-op. If you're playing on PS2, they have a split-screen co-op, and I think perfect. I think you That's can awesome. even go four-player if I'm not mistaken. I love games that have that feature in a LAN connection co-op like that, like like split-screen. I mean, not split-screen, but on the same screen. Yeah, That's good. This is another big box PC game called Steel Soldiers. It's a uh, like a strategy <laughs> game. Right. And these are all a dollar, so I figured why not. Actually, no, look at the packaging on it, dude. They really cared about what they did back, yeah. you know, back in the day. It's really cool. You open it up. It's got some cool art in it. I actually used to have this one, and uh, I think I threw it away on accident. <laughs> oh, wow. We can't be throwing away games these days, man. Whew. Got a couple more games. I got these at Goodwill. I got Crash 2. Yes. Which is like a $12 game, I think. And I still, yeah. I've been wanting to find the Crash series. I don't have the first one or the second one, so I finally got the second one. Okay. So I went ahead and picked that one up, and I lucked out. I found this one for five dollars as well. Rapper to rapper, dude. Yes. Fun game. Yeah, it's, it's complete. complete. It's mint. The disc is like spotless, and I had no idea. Oh look, it's even got a subscription to the uh, PlayStation Underground. Nice, dude. I got. I need to check mine and see <laughs> if I have one of those. I, I should call and try to redeem it. <laughs> I know, right? Actually, actually, I had a friend that tried to do that with. Uh, you remember Ninja Turtles two, the arcade game for NES? Yeah. There are, well, it came with a, a pan pizza coupon. A pan pizza so, coupon. <laughs> yeah. So my buddy, uh, he had the game, and he, he cut the coupon out, and he took it to uh, the pizza hut, and they and they took it, dude. They took it. They were like, "Whoa, dude, that's awesome!" They, they should have made a video about not that. Not give him this pizza. Yeah. So they made him a pan that's, pizza on the spot. That's awesome. So it's pretty awesome. Did you know this game is selling for like seventy dollars used now? Why? I don't know. I thought it was like a twenty dollar game. It's I, I checked on eBay. Well, There's only a couple, and they're all like seventy dollars. It's it definitely. Uh, it, I don't know if it hit. It didn't hit the greatest hits mark, but it was definitely a good. It was a good seller for them, I think. Yeah. But there should be more copies out there. I mean, uh, if that's if that's that price, I wonder how much Lammy Jammer is. I don't know. Which is a, a semi sequel. I mean, it's it's a fun game, and I actually have the. 
I have a copy of it, disc only, and it's like all scratched up. It don't work. Uh, oh, and the other thing I got, the, the game store, I've been eyeing this box um, for like three months, and he said after like first two months I could have it. So I went up there yesterday, and I got this display box for uh, Resident Evil 7, or Biohazard. It's just a uh, display box is all it is. He gave it to you, right? Yeah, he just gave it to me, so. Good, good. That's going to go on the show. That's pretty cool, though. I actually beat the game, bro. Did I tell you? I think you did tell me. Yeah, I was, uh, I don't know, man. I was like, eh. <laughs> no, you would, it, it's a big departure from what we're used to. Well, that DLC that they made, they, it could have been put on the game. Yeah. You know, on the disc already, instead of a season pass. They were trying to mooch more money out of people. Yeah. The thing the DLC is called, that got delayed recently, uh, Not a Hero, is actually made by another team. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, that is that is actually true DLC. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think this other the other DLC that's previously came out is the stuff that could have been in the game already. They just wanted to charge for it. So, I mean, it, it, Capcom keeps doing those type of practices, man. I mean, I don't know, man. Well, I you mean, remember Resident Evil Seven hasn't sold as well as Resident Evil uh, Six, but uh, so they far didn't put this much money into this game was that? the worst when it came to the oh, DLC. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. Oh yeah, man. And people bought into it, man. Like that bought into, oh yeah, we'll keep adding stuff. We'll keep the game fresh. You know, that's that's you make the game what you want it to be, and if you want more, you make a sequel. That's yeah. how it goes, right? I don't know. These kids today, they like they don't care. Like, oh, I'll pay for DLC. Oh, I'm not yeah, care. man. You know, they they're gonna keep doing it because people keep supporting it. So, but it's the younger generation, though, man. I mean, let them do it. I mean, I mean it'll 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 stay in that. I don't know. It won't really expand if they keep doing stuff like that. Yeah. You need to appeal to casual gamers too, man. I, mm -hmm. mean, but I won't go on all into that because I'll get all sad and upset. You know. Hey, uh, <laughs> you know one? You didn't show me one of your uh, pickups, man. You just got Outlast. Where's that at? Oh yeah. Outlast. There it Trinity. is. Huh? And, and guess what, buddy? Highly anticipated. A oh. manual. Yep. Hey, at least it's something. Yeah, see how see how big it is. Oh, it's front and the back. Oh man, so much information. It didn't even tell you. It didn't even tell you controls again. It just sells safety warnings. That's lame. <laughs> it's like it's the seizure okay. warning. They just stick the seizure warning in there. But it's actually a two disc game. Oh, the game is in the system. Uh, but it's two disc. Oh, okay, cool. So Outlast Two has its own disc, and the in the other game has the the prequel, and the uh, regular Outlast game on it. As well, but I, I want to hurry up and beat Outlast One because I and, and play Part Two because I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah. That's the, I mean that's the, the meat and potatoes of the of the whole Trinity. It's Part Two. I heard Part uh, Two is more like uh, messes with your mind and stuff. Well, it's like a cult, dude. So mm -hmm. you're out like in like in the cornfield and everything, and people are looking for you with flashlight. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. So I'm feeling I'm feeling the creepy vibe, dude. I'm pumped up for it. Yeah, that one I, I want to play, play, and they said it's like. It takes place in more open environments instead of the closed off like sanitarium or whatever. So. Yeah, yeah, like you feel like you can hide in there, but in, in, when you're in an open area, it's like where the hell can you hide at? Uh, do you uh, have you played out last one? Mm hmm. I have. Did you beat it? I didn't beat it, but I got pretty far. That game is scary though. It is, dude. And that, dude, they, those enemies that chase you. I got. Did you beat the guy with the scissors for hands or whatever? Mm, I don't remember. Dude, I haven't you cut played your any. fingers off. I haven't played in years. I don't remember. I just remember oh, running, wow, okay, running cool. from that warden man. It's always scary. Yeah, I was, I was. It was tense, dude. And then I noticed that you could look back while they're chasing you, which is even scarier. You yeah. know, I don't know if it slows your character down. But when you're running from something, don't look back because it slows <laughs> you down. Well, you're gonna run into <laughs> something in front of you too. Exactly. You knock yourself out, and then you know, then the enemy will just pounce on you after that, so you're done. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, because when I used to run back in the day, if I was running from somebody or, or some someone. I never looked back. I just kept going until I got to my destination. <laughs> yeah, hope you make Good it there. Good to go. But yeah, it, it seems like a really solid game, man. I mean, I, I, was, I, was, I was intrigued by it. I was doing a live stream of it, and uh, nobody nobody knew what to do when I got stuck. So I was like, man, I was hoping somebody could help me with the live stream and everything. But it's all good, but I, I, I figured it out. But it was, a lot of, it was a lot of fun. I had a, real, a lot of fun playing it, man. I can't wait to beat it. It's just a lot of other stuff has come up, you know, like I got to do a video with Jason. I try to fix his pinball. Damn, Siberia Three came out. Well, you have oh, um, you have access to a computer now, right? Yeah, I do, man. Luckily, dude. Is it work and, okay? Uh, huh? Is it work okay? 
it, it's, it's decent, man. It's not, I can't really capture footage on it or anything, but it's like, you know, it's something to help, you know what I mean? De- mm-hmm. Definitely, so. I'm happy with that. I'm still using the old cell phone right now, but I mean, the cell phone's coming through. Hey. I actually almost thought I lost this thing a couple of days ago. I was scared. Oh, really? I got all my videos on here. Yeah, stuff I haven't even uploaded yet. Oh, man. Yeah, dude. It's an investment. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. The, uh... So, uh, I also was thinking, bro, uh, I know we, we probably talked about this in our other video about the uh, Sony... Uh, Probably making some kind of a portable device coming out pretty soon. Yeah, I was actually I actually brought it up to Jason and uh, because he was saying, "Hey man, we you know maybe I, he was trying to pump me up to get a switch and everything." And I kind of mentioned to him like, "Man, I was gonna get a switch, but now that I know that Sony's probably coming out with this, this device." Yeah, I will stick with them, man, because that is more of my type of company. But, well, uh, I'm hoping maybe at the next E3 they may like drop a hint or you know show a little something about the system because I mean they've had the patent since. 2015. Really? Yeah. That was the year pretty much they were trying to say uh, we're done with the Vita. Yeah, but I think, I don't know. Uh, they got to find... Interesting. They got to find like a good um, media. Like with some of the problems the PS Vita has, people said like the games weren't like friendly enough for on-the-go gaming. It was more like a, you know... They, I think they were. It's just that, uh, I mean... Sony made the system hard to, well, not hard to develop for, but the whole memory card thing, you know, that's what killed the Vita, to be honest, man. I mean, memory, I mean, come on. You yeah, know. $80, 16 gigabyte card or some crap, yeah. And that's what I have right now, and that 16 card, I mean, I've been making it work, though, but, you know, still, you know, if you're a guy, a person that downloads games, and it's going to take up that whole memory card in no time. Yeah. I mean, they were so, like, active and not trying to make the people, let, make the system able to hack, but... People are going to be able to hack a system no matter what. You know, I mean, you just got to accept that. I mean, you can slow them down with updates and everything, which is fine. That's what they should have did. But don't handicap your system. You yeah. Know? I mean, by doing that, the whole memory card thing was the killer. <laughs> and seriously. Yeah, I think it was. Because I think power-wise, like, it can still handle some pretty decent-looking games. It's slightly, it, I think it's slightly below PS3. Mm-hmm. I mean... I mean that thing is. Or maybe I'm wrong. I mean I don't know, but it's it's, it's a pretty powerful system. I love it, and I I take it on the go more than my my 3ds. But uh, like I said, I just feel like uh, I've actually been thinking about getting rid of my 3ds. Why? Well, it's like other than Ocarina of Time, I don't really have any games I play on it. You know what I mean? I'll give you some games to play, man. Check this out: Azure Gun Vault, Azure Striker Gun Vault Pack. You need to buy that. Yeah. And guess what? It's like a twenty-five dollar game for now. Is it? Yeah, physical copy. You get two games in one. I have to um, come up with some, like a list of like reasons to here, keep here. it. Here, matter of yeah. fact, I'm worried. I, I don't want you to sell your 3ds. That's the one you should keep out of all the systems. Think so? Reggie disappeared. Oh no! All right, Josh. I'm just gonna show you some of them. All right. Because they were the easiest stack to grab. You gotta get Shante. Shante, okay. It's twenty dollars. It might be less for the 3ds. Really good game. Pirates Curse. This is the third game in the series. That's so the you know. platformer, right? Yeah. You can get this one if you don't already have it. Resident Evil Revelation. I have that one. Yep, that's a good okay, one. Okay, good. Ugh, I need to clean this case. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> Kirby Deluxe. Kirby. I haven't ever been too much into the Kirby games. I wasn't either until I played them. Man, oh man, they're, they're sickly good, dude. It was fun. Man. Yeah. Of course, this is Mario Brothers. This one's awesome. I love the coin system. Yeah, in this I one. have the one on DS. I don't have the 3DS one yet. Uh, Kirby, this one is awesome as well. Planet Robot, Robos. Yeah, you're like a, you're like in a mech pretty much in this game, which is pretty cool, dude. It's pretty That's sick, cool. dude. <laughs> but here's the one I was telling you about: Asher Striker Gun Vault Pack. Asher Striker. This is, the, this is the true successor to Mega Man. Oh, okay. Is it? Is it, uh, the developers were they involved with Mega Man at all or no? Yeah, Indie Crates. Mm-hmm. They're the ones that created Mega Man up from. Uh, I know they created. They helped with the X series. 
uh, I can't remember, but they made most of the games for the series up to, up until X5 and the Zero series, and the XZ series, the X series, too. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. check that one out. You'll definitely, you gotta pick that one up, man. And Have you done you a video on that one? Huh? Did you do a video on that one? As your gun vault? Yeah. No. I mean, I, I don't know how to display it. You know, I would have to show them, like, the only way I could show that game properly is if I buy the PC version, which get a is the version, which is only the first game. I could do that, but, you know, you gotta move your hand. It's weird. I could do it. I, I would have to say, That's a good idea. Maybe I should try something like that. And then that's, I guess I thought, oh, yeah, River City Ransom. Now, that is a good game, yeah. Yeah. You could play this one. Oh, Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight. You don't have the Vita version. I do have the Vita version. So. Corpse Party, which is a scary game. Now, you can get that on the Vita, too, right? Yeah, you have to download it. Oh, no, the Vita version is uh, the third game. And, uh, yeah, it's the third game in the series. This one's actually a remake of the first one. Oh, okay. So, it's pretty cool. Because I know the Vita has the big box set you can get, so... Yeah, yeah, well, the 3DS one has it, too. I just didn't bring it out. And then you Blast Blue and Code Princess, which is a beat-em-up yep. game. And mm -hmm. Yeah, ugh, that's enough 3DS talk. Good. <laughs> too much Nintendo talk for you? Yeah, I started to hurt a little. Like, Whoa, <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, but, yeah, I support the 3DS. I mean, you, you can give yours up, man. I just Some games are still exclusive to that system that I think you would really like. Oh, shoot, my uh, thing... I'm losing you. Alright. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. And uh, <laughs> Reggie is back. We found him. So. Alright. Yeah, yeah. I was, I, was for, I was far gone for a second. <laughs> uh, all that Nintendo talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so but uh, yeah, man. Uh, uh, as far as like... Uh, I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I like Nintendo and everything. It's just that, you know, I, I feel a lot of people are like kind of indoctrinated with them. You know, when it comes to different color systems or, you know, with the whole NES uh, Classic thing. you know. Yeah, like, I'm kind of uh, mad about that NES Classic thing with Nintendo. It was sad, huh? Well, it's like, Dude. they purposely, I think purposely, release a limited quantity to drive up mm -hmm. the hype. And then they promise, like, they're going to release a bunch more. And they end up releasing, like, five or ten more systems per store. And then, they like, right after that, they say they're going to discontinue it. So, n now nobody can get it. And the only way you can get it is if you pay like $300 online for it and it's only a $60 product which I hope people do not do yeah I mean I I, I almost got one and you know I just felt bad dude I was like why why am I even supporting them doing this man? yeah it's kind of like I'm not supporting it even if they come out with a Super Nintendo one I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna try it because they're gonna do the exact same thing yeah. they made some excuse saying oh well, we had to cancel the NES classic because we're coming out with the Super Nintendo. It's like, you haven't even supported the NES Classic one yet. I mean, I haven't even seen one in stores yet, like, at all. Yeah. I mean, the only cool thing about the NES Classic is that you could actually mod it and add more games to it. Cause you could pretty much critique the system into what you wanted it to be, what your classic NES system would be. Yeah. I thought that was, that was a great idea. But when I was up in line and I saw how crazy some people looked and sad that they didn't get it, man, I just gave my ticket up. I said, here, you can have it. And I say that sixty bucks, and I bought something else. I can't remember what it was, but dude, I could put every NES game I want on this thing right here. Oh yeah, yeah, nice, it's, dude. it's my heck yeah. And like, so I'm just gonna do that. I mean, if, if Nintendo doesn't want to give me the option to buy their system, then I'm gonna, you know, I'll just go the uh, Raspberry Pi route and make them out of these little things. Yeah, which is the better, actually the better thing to do, to be honest with you. I mean, the only thing that people go crazy over that Nintendo because it looks like an old school Nintendo. And it's yeah. A throwback. It's and you can buy it, um, you can stick this inside a uh, a Nintendo case that they have online for like thirty bucks, and you can have like ev every NES. I mean, PS One, anything. They're selling Nintendo cases online. Yeah, there's people on like Etsy and eBay that make Nintendo cases that look just like the NES Mini that just came out. You buy the case, wow. you put your Retro Pie in there, and boom, you're done. You got your own. Yes. With more games. They must be using that 3D printer. Nice. Yeah, I think it is a 3D printer they're using. That's pretty sick, dude. Wow, that's the best way to do it, I guess, you know, because uh, Nintendo really screwed everybody over with that. I mean, yeah. people were standing in line for hours, man. Like, why would they want people to do that? And they're going to do the same thing with the Super Nintendo, so everybody's getting all hyped. I was like, no, I'm just getting mad. They didn't even support the previous one, so. Yeah, they didn't. And, then, you know, they, they, I mean, they treat their American customers like crap, dude. I mean, they think they'll, they'll buy anything, and the sad thing is that most of them will. Yeah. I mean, 
Yeah, that's that's the reason why I kind of stray away from Nintendo stuff. But uh, anyways, that's that's another depressing discussion. Yeah, let's stop talking about Nintendo, Nintendo man. Yeah, let's, let's move <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, what are your what are your gaming goals for the for this year, man? I mean, what do you want to purchase? You know that you hope. You know what I mean? Like me personally, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get like more current stuff. But what about you? Uh, I'm still going after the horror games. Modern and pre, you know, old console. Um, mostly want to like get some better PS1 games and PS2. Um, I'm kind of as far as PS2 horror games. I'm kind of to the point now. Uh oh, we might be losing you. There you are. No, I said low. I had low battery, so it. Oh, better okay. Plug this thing in. I'm to the point now where like the only horror PS2 games left are the real expensive ones. So. Uh, for PS2, you said. Yeah. What, what games are those? I like Rule of the Rose and uh, yeah, I can't even think of the other ones now. There's a few no, I'm so missing. That game, that game is not really. Uh, you still see me good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, sure. All right, that game is. Uh, it's a listen. The game is. Uh, it's hard to talk about Rule of the Rose. It's hard to recommend it. It's a good horror game, but the gameplay. It's why it's like fighting. It's 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 really messed up. You know, it's hard, you know, they, it's, unless you, like, you hack the game where you use the game Genie Code where you can start out with the gun, then it's playable. But, like, with me- melee weapons, the game just doesn't, I don't know, it's not worth the price it's going for, but it's only that price because it is limited. I think it only had two print runs in America, and that was it. Yeah. I mean, it looks, um, the gameplay looks kind of, you know, mediocre, but the, maybe the story is good, you know? Story's good. Yeah. Story's touching, dude. I was like, man, when I beat the game, I was like, wow, dude, that's that's crazy. Yeah. So, Speaking uh, of, and, um, oh, go ahead. Uh, I mean, what, what was the other horror game you were talking about that you wanted to get? Uh, I can't remember now. What was it? It's one of the expensive PS2 horror games. Kwan? No, I have that one. I have Haunting Ground. Is it an import? I think it's an import. Uh, Michigan Report? Siren 2? Siren 2, maybe? I don't know if that one's expensive or not. It's not, but it's just hard to get it displayed correctly on a TV. You would have to play it on an emulator, play it properly. Yeah, that's fine, too. So, You know, yeah. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of them out there. You just got to do some digging. I mean, luckily, I, I when I got my tax return back in 2015, yeah. man, I, I mean, that's, I'm going all out, man, because money comes <laughs> and goes. And yeah. I'm glad I did it, too. Yeah, get like, it before it gets too pricey. Because right now, I wouldn't do it. You know, they're like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Well, speaking <laughs> yeah, of horror games, um, for anybody listening or watching, um, are y'all wanting to see another episode of the uh, Horror Insider Show? Oh, man, we got to do another episode, bro. Yeah. If you want to see it, just leave it in the comments. Let us know. But uh, we are going to be working on one, so hopefully this week. I'm um, sorry, man. Is my camera good here? I keep, it keeps getting, like, because I'm trying to plug this thing in, but it keeps pulling it down. Yeah, yeah you're good. I, we can see you. Am I good like this? Yeah, you're you're fine. Well, not like this, but you know. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, dude. Uh, oh man, horror games. Uh, I love them. <laughs> yeah. What were you too. just saying right now? Before I, I, I was talk uh, about talking it. about the horror insider show. Let them know that we're working on one, and that if they're enjoying it, just to leave it in the comment section and let us know. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll actually link you guys to the first video episode we did of it, and that, I had a lot. We had a lot of fun doing that one. Yeah, too. that one was uh, fun. But we got more horror games for you guys, like you wouldn't believe. Like the next one, which uh, I guess we could mention it here, uh, will be. Uh, should we tell them? Uh, nah, nah. We won't tell let's you keep guys. them waiting, man. Let's not tell. <laughs> them. We have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we got the next episode already uh, ready to go. So, well, not ready to go, but. We already know what it's going to be, and it's gonna, I think it's going to be really epic. Yeah, most of the it's hard definitely going to be a game that nobody knows about. Way, so. or yeah, a majority of people don't know about. Yep. But uh, yeah, that you know, it's going to be really fun. I mean, I'm, I'm having fun doing the episodes, man. They're really well done, put together. Uh, production values are high, you yeah. know. So yeah, you can't beat that. So yeah, they're they're fun. They're fun to put together too, because you know, something that really interests us. So yeah, yeah definitely. We want to keep that series going. <laughs> yeah. So if y'all enjoy that series, um, make sure you first off make sure you watch the first one, which is on Chaos yeah. Break. Um, yep. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. 
We're going to try to strive for a certain amount of views and thumbs up for each video and make sure people are still wanting to see it. Because if people don't want to watch it, we won't keep doing it, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. I mean, we may do it just because we enjoy it. But <laughs> but we won't, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's got to get, like, more than, like, we don't want to get in, like, 300 views or something. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? We're going to keep it up there, like, pretty high, you know, so. Yeah, and our last know, one got over 2,000 views, I think, so. Yeah, 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 and it's still going strong, I think. So, yeah. you know, it's just that the game, like Survival Horror, you know, a lot of people don't know about these games, so it's hard for them. They don't even know these games exist, so it's hard to find them, you know what I mean? Yep. So not many Chaos Break videos out there. Then there's, like, maybe nine of them, you know, so. Yeah, I was trying yeah. to play Chaos Heat, and I couldn't get that one to work. I mean, I really wanted to play that one, dude. That game was sick, dude. I, it, uh, I don't know what's going on with it, bro. The characters look that? exactly the same. It's just more of, a, like, a arcadey shoot 'em up type. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. dude. It's, and then they wanted to go the survival horror route, you know, which they did. I think they did a great job on, so, you know, so. Yeah. We'll see how it goes, man. Hopefully we get it working one day. I don't know. <laughs> so, but, you, uh, um, so you've been doing some reviews, a lot of reviews here lately. In yeah, I have, some... man. I, I got a bunch of reviews ready to go on my YouTube and everything. You know, I prepared for the big Patreon thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of like what I'm doing now is I'm asking people what videos they want to see out of out of out of a couple I pick out, and tomorrow, which uh, I don't know when you'll put this video out, but uh, for this Friday uh, they're gonna get the top five RPG series that I like. You yeah, know what I mean, and uh, that's what they chose. So I uh, I that was one of my earlier videos, and you know I was just I was probably like like second main video I tried to do, and I liked it, but. During the middle of the video, I kind of changed the, what the video was. It was yeah. supposed to be a top five RPG series, but I only did top four RPG series, and I did my top favorite RPG at the end. So I was like, <laughs> I kind of, you know what I mean? So it's like, whoa, okay. Well, yeah. But I think they'll appreciate it. I was going to toss it, but they said, no, no, keep that vid. I was like, all right, you guys think you'll like it, cool. Yeah, well, so, you know, you know, you'll get better at them as you as you go on too. Like you said, that was like your second um, main video with like the new, you know, editing and all that. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the videos I've done lately that I haven't even uploaded, those videos are, man, they're way better. I mean, I mean, they, they get better each time, you know, once I get the voice going, the proper voice. Because uh, you got one thing about doing videos, you want to make sure the music is not too loud over your voice. Yep. So you keep the music at a, a good level where they can still hear it, and then they can hear your voice as well. I've been learning a lot about that, and I fixed a couple of videos with that. Uh, I actually got to upload a, another video that I looked at that I uploaded already. I'm going to re-upload it. Because the voices were a little bit too low, so I can oh, fix okay. that right now, which is cool. And uh, yeah, man, I'm just really pumped to get these people to see these videos. I mean, uh, I got like a—I didn't do any videos this week at all. You know, I just kind of took it easy. Yeah, I wanted to, but uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna start doing more uh, top five, top ten type things. You know, mm -hmm. people really like those, and you know, they want to know my opinions on them. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, man. I mean, what do you think about what do you want to do with your channel in the future? Like, what are, what are your um, plans? Well, I'm going to keep doing the podcast. Because um, I, I, people don't know this the podcast is uploaded on my channel and your channel at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i been doing a series called Games of My Childhood where I take games that I still have the original cartridges from when I was a kid. And I do um, basically like mini reviews or um, just tell my story about the game, why I like it, you know, when I first remember playing it. Um, right. That uh, recently did a tag team game hunting um, episode with my wife. We went out and we found a really good Craigslist. You deal. Scored, man. Yeah, we scored. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, um, I need to add that in the description. But like, so you need to watch the video first. I want to spoil it, but we paid yeah. a very low price. Ended up a lot of the systems more than we thought ended up working in the end. So yeah, that. Um, oh, what else have we been doing? You know, let's plays, live streams, stuff like that, and then I do, you know, skits and stuff with some of my reviews and, you know, things like that. But that's pretty much the plan. Keep on doing what I've always been doing. Um, oh man, we're gonna start trying to Heck have yeah. some more guests. Maybe have a third person in the podcast one day. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I have three of us talking here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, <laughs> You know, I actually did a like a I don't know what you would call it. It was a Google Hangouts or a podcast type where we all got on there and we were all talking. Mm -hmm. And each time somebody was talking, 
their screen would be the main screen on on the on camera. Yeah, it's like it picks talking, up. Yeah, which is cool, but it gets weird though when everybody's talking at once. So it's like flipping between yeah, everybody like randomly. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. I, I would prefer just to have like three screens that are always up all the time, you know. But you know, that's right, Google right. Hangouts trying to do is like auto automatic, you know. I guess. Yeah, but you know, but it, it's a pretty cool feature though. I mean, I like that they do that. Maybe Skype could do something like that in the future. I don't know. Maybe they, it already can. I don't know. I don't even know. Can uh, you can you do three way Skype calls? I would think you can because they're like the king of, of, of uh, talking online. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it looks like you could add another person here. Uh, let me see if I could do it just for randomly, just for fun. Let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. I, let's see if I can call my buddy uh, Christopher Paco. There we go. Add okay. participants. Yeah, let's let's call a random dude and just so like, hey, guess okay, what? Okay, I'll call somebody random. I know, no, no, Christopher is at work though. Let me see if I can call somebody <laughs> who actually answer. All right. It'll be hilarious. Uh, hey, let's call Chris Trim. You. He's All the right. guy who does a, re a reproduction games. For oh, me. cool. Let's see if we can call him. Here we go. All right. What's working, dude? Hello. See there? No, it's still ringing. Okay. It's like it's working. Is he on? It says his name is in here. I don't know. This is freaking cool, though. That is cool. We can do that for sure. That would be cool. All right. Well, let me go back because he's probably like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, make sure you hang up. Hold on. Let me make sure I go. <laughs> <laughs> Fix that real fast. Oh, wait, we weren't even connecting with him. Now we're connecting. Oh, this okay. is fun. That is cool. Just like randomly, like, call some people up. Dude, I hope he answers, dude. This is going to be hilarious. <laughs> now, which, did he do your Splatterhouse repros? No, uh, but he could. Okay, he's not on. He hung up. Bob camera shy. I don't think I have any Anyways, Skype friends. That was cool to try that. Yeah, I don't have any oh, Skype oh, friends. Oh, the camera's in a different spot. <laughs> you don't have what? I don't have any Skype friends, so. You don't? Not really. Uh, I, I barely have any either. I only have you and a couple other people. Uh, but, you know, I'm never really on Skype. I never really use it until, like, now, you know, which is good for doing these calls and everything you upload, so. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. So, yeah, man, I get I guess that's going to do it for this uh, podcast today, man. Uh, yeah, this one came up. Uh, how long has this video been going? Let's see. It's been going for, this part of the video has been going for 18 minutes. So this podcast has been about 40 to 50 minutes long, so that's not bad. Oh, okay, cool. We were on the mark. <laughs> yeah, not bad. So, lots of cool podcasts coming out in the future. We got a lot to talk about. You know, yep. it's just, uh, lots of current events happening in the world. Uh I don't know if I told you. I'll tell. You, I'll probably save this story for the next podcast about uh, Joe's uh, Grand Theft Auto Five scam. He got. He got. Yeah, Joe. Uh, Joe's Joe Witter has been crazy. Joe, as we know him, has been playing Grand Theft Auto Five crazy online, and he just he decided to buy uh, one of those shark cards. But uh, yeah, I'll tell you what happened to him. He got scammed. It's oh, a hilarious nice. story. But, uh, didn't yeah. It? <laughs> now, he did, I thought he did a video podcast. on that, didn't he? Or no. He did. He, we, we did. I haven't uploaded it yet. You know, I'll probably upload it next week. But it, it's, you know, it's hilarious. But, you know, Joe's trying to put it out there. Like, you guys got to be careful because, you know, you can't assume who you're talking to is always the right person when you're calling the information line. Yeah. You know, so you have to be very cautious. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That game is crazy, dude. It's like a living, breathing world online. I mean, you can do so much in that game. It's definitely a game you want to take to a desert island. So, yeah. Well, how would you play it on a desert island with no look? Never mind. Anyways. That's true. <laughs> yeah. But cool. Well, guys, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this podcast. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And Josh, do you have anything else? I don't think so. Thanks for watching. This is uh, episode five. We're going to be doing more. Try to do one a week. Depends on if I can get yep. you know, time off and if Reggie's available and all that. But uh, make you sure you check out the... Chaos Break episode of the Horror Insider Show. Give it a thumbs up and let us know if you enjoyed it. Uh, we have another episode coming up soon, hopefully. I think. Um, hopefully, probably maybe not this week. We may finish it this week. Maybe release it next week. 
So uh, we'll finish it. We'll finish it tomorrow because you're only working like a 16-hour shift, right? So yeah, the other hours should be all. good. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, make sure you check those out. Um, also, uh, check out Reggie's uh, Patreon. He's got some cool uh, features. If you sign up for his Patreon, even if the you know at the one dollar mark, you get uh, 24 hours of uh, early access to his videos, and he's got a lot yep. of a lot of content on there. And oh yeah. Plus, you want to support him. He's a good dude. So. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate you, bro. There you go. And uh, if you feel like it, you can check out my channel. These are dual uploaded on uh, both our channels. So, um, yeah. But anyways, we'll see you. Maniac. That's right. I'm crazy. <laughs> but we'll uh, we we'll see you guys on the next episode next week sometime. And uh, thanks for thanks for watching. See you guys. Yeah. <laughs>